Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. This is a love there reading session for you Taurus. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. Let me just adjust my camera. Um, this is a love weekly reading for you Taurus. Taurus, thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for being here today. Guest viewers, if you haven't, click the subscribe button and the bell. Please do it now if you're interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further support my channel, Taurus, I invite you please to follow me on my blog, sunshine-tv.com. We send astrology update, full moon, new moon, and we also send out, you know, relationship um, stories in there, uh, meditation, good stuff. So connect with me there via my blog. All other products and services that I offer outside of the YouTube platform, it's in there. Apologies, currently I'm not offering a private reading right now. I'm very sorry about that. Um, connect with me via my Instagram account. Please make sure that you're connecting with the real Instagram account, the official one. And I've been told to keep mentioning that I'm not asking for any sort of donation. Maybe I've not updated the description box below, but because but before I was campaigning for the breast cancer. But I'm not asking for any donation. I've got charity. I'll try to keep it secret. So please be very, very mindful of you know who approach you online, because that's not me. I don't go around and offer private reading or ask for a donation. So I'll just one I'll just do one more shuffle and we will start your reading. Okay. All right, okay, what's the overall energy for Taurus? You've got Eight of Pentacles in reverse. You've got the Page of Cups in, in upright position. What's crossing you is the Eight of Wands. Okay, all right. Uh, what is the influence? Ace of Wands. Current energy, taking a risk, new adventure, the Knight of Wands. Okay. What is the hidden energy of your person, Taurus? Let's look at the hidden energy of your person. What is their hidden energy? The Nine of Pentacles is here in the reverse attachment. Okay. How they feel about you is the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. How they think about you is the Moon card in reverse. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's start your reading. Um... You've got here the Eight of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, the Eight of Wands. It seems to be that you'll get a message from someone, from somebody. I really feel like there's a lot of eight here. Eight and eight, eight, nine, seven, seven, eight, nine. You know, there is a seven, eight, nine energy in here, which means that it's about time to talk about something. You know, it's about time to talk. You know, about time to talk. You know, there is a need to talk. You know, Page of Cups, I really feel like it is very objective, you know. This is a very objective talk. You know, Page of Cups, it's been quiet. It's been silent. And you will suddenly receive a message for you and your person to talk. And it's very objective. Um, in the past, you've got Ace of Wands. Um, you want to take a risk, you know. In the past, it was very passionate. There was a lot of taking a risk, you know, or traveling or seeing this person. There was a plan. Ace of Wands, you know, Ace of Wands in the full card in upright position. There seems to be a plan, okay. There was a lot of passion and plan and you're all for this, okay. I'm 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 really hearing the word you might misinterpret this okay cuz your cards is the knight of wands you will take a risk with this person again you will take a risk with love with this person again so make sure that if you take a risk make sure that the person is also going to take a risk with you because what I'm getting in here Taurus is that Nine of Pentacles, this is the hidden energy of your person. It's in reverse. It means that they are still attached with you. They are still attached with you, but they're, they're, there's not a lot of interest to invest or they have seven thoughts of investing or going further. They're still attached somehow, but going further, it's not too strong. Most especially, you know, 
the moon card is in reverse. So it means that they actually know, they're not confused, you know. You have a different interpretation of things. Yeah, the moon card in reverse, it means they're sure about, they're sure about, not investing not looking into you and them right now or in the past or currently you know i really feel like your person has less energy they're still attached with you i don't know maybe for some obligation for some reason they still think about you maybe this is an unfinished business maybe they need to say sorry but eight of wands eight of pentacles there's something coming up something is about to come up There's something, there's something that is, something is coming up and make sure that you are at the same page because your interpretation is different from them. Your expectation is different from them. Okay. Let's see. Because you're Ace of Wands, you're take, you're going to take a risk. You're going to flirt. You want the Ace of Wands. Your person is not, sh not entirely sure of investing to you, although I'm attached with you. But I'm sure that I'm not quite, you know, invested of you. Attached, but not not 100%. That's the thing. Let's see. Let's see. Predictive outcome and advice. Okay, this card. Yeah, it's not, it's not perfect. It's not, it's not your ideal situation. It's not what you expect. Okay? I want you to, I want you, I want you, Taurus, to not break your own heart. I don't want you to expect. I don't want you to expect. It's not yet time. There's some sort of processing, missing information. It's not sure. So don't get your hopes up. Okay? Yeah, they're still figuring things out. You know, there's still there, there could still be a third party. You know, they could still be very busy. That's why they could not confirm things. But don't give it your all or don't expect when things are quite, you can read between the line that it's not yet sure, it's not fully 100%. So don't give it all because in here, Ace of Wands, the full card, the Knight of Wands, you know, don't take a risk if you aren't sure of the person yet, you know, wait further. Because what your your expect your expectation will will break your own heart. Okay, what's the knight of nine of cups? Yeah, three of cups in reverse. It seems to be your person is not ready to give up the third party or to give up the multiple dating or your person is not yet ready to talk about to have an exclusive talk. Although they're still attached with you, they're still figuring things out. Two of pentacles juggling two things, two person, two priority. Um, high priestess in reverse it's not the right time it's not the right move right now the empress card in upright position seven of swords sneaky yeah sneaky you know this empress card underneath the high priestess don't settle yet for some sort of outcome i mean i really feel like this page of cups this is good Whatever is happening, it's good. It's neutral. It's platonic. It's good. You know, it's better to deal with this in the right time. There's a lot of sneakiness in here. Seven of Swords. Ten of Cups. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like you're, you're, you've been giving a false promise or it's, 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 um, it's something to do with make sure that you are at the same page because the happiness the enjoyment the feeling of talking again is different from what actually is in the future something like that it's it's happy that you're talking or you're communicating or you're somehow back to each other's arms but don't expect or explore further until this person makes it official then of cups you know for now celebrate happiness little gains you know there's more to come there is more information that will be revealed so wait for that information to be revealed before you really allow your heart to be very vulnerable don't take a risk 
if, if, if you feel like there's still some hidden information in there, okay? Be smart, be wise. I'll see you soon, Taurus, and have a great weekend. Week, week, sorry. Bye-bye.